on the 12th of January 2020, the Owl Volcano erupted. A 15 kilometer column of ash and toxic gas spewed from its crater and into the atmosphere, reaching as far as Metro Manila and Pampanga. This natural disaster disrupted the lives of many people, especially those that were living nearby. Residents near the eruption had no choice but to evacuate their homes, forcing them to abandon their possessions, their businesses, and their pets. When I visited Ta'al a few days ago through the Philippine Animal Welfare Society, we were able to help these abandoned animals and resupplied the owners who had already returned to their homes. We also had the chance of hearing the stories about this tragic disaster. Noong pong pumutok ang Bulkan Taan, laking gulat po namin sa hindi po namin inaasahan na lumaki agad ang usok ng Taal Volcano. Taga dito lang kasi kami, 3 minutes po lang ang layo namin sa mismong Taal Lake. Hindi dumaan ang ilang sandali ay kami na po ang binagsakan ng mga batong-batong, maliliit, mga abo-abo. Nasasakit na sa balat namin yung mga patak, tapos nagsimula nang magpanik ang mga tao. Kanya-kanya kaming salba ng mga aso na kanya-kanya din silang takbuhan. Kami po ay talagang nahirapan at yung aming asong mga naiwan, yung mga hayop, ay talaga pong nagtiis at ang iba'y nangamatay. Yung mga aso dito, iniwan na ng kanya-kanyang amo. So kung kami nalatitira, Papakain lang kami sa mga dogs na nakikita. Kaya po maraming marami pong salamat sa inyong ibinigay na tulong. Kung ano pa man ang inyong nakayanan ay tinatanggap po namin ng tubos na pasasalamat. But pets were not the only animals that were abandoned during the eruption. There were also the thousands of horses that were living on Volcano Island. Beasts of burden who earned money for their owners by carrying tourists to the rim of the crater. Horseback riding in Ta'al was a controversial business, dependent on abusing these horses, and my wife and I bore witness to it firsthand when we visited the crater four years ago. These horses were abandoned on the wake of the eruption, without any food, water, and shelter from the ashfall. Rescue operations did not begin until a few days after. But just because these horses were evacuated from the island did not mean that the horses' lives were saved. With the Ta'al horseback riding industry destroyed, slaughterhouses began offering the horse owners thousands of pesos to butcher the horses for their meat. So the only way to truly rescue these animals were to buy them from their desperate owners. And the Philippine Animal Welfare Society was able to do just that for many of them. After saving the horses from being slaughtered for their meat, they were now given a chance to recover from their wounds. You know, I'm scratching post. This horse named Kiko is one of the most injured among them. The acid burns all over his face and body are so severe that he will never be able to carry anything or anyone on his back ever again. But Kiko doesn't need to worry about that anymore. None of these sheltered horses do because the Philippine Animal Welfare Society will make sure that these horses will never work a day in their life ever again. For it isn't just the injuries sustained from the eruption that they must recover from, but also from the years of abuse and torture from working in Volcano Island. This rescued mare named Susan had just given birth to a baby that was given the name of Starlight Glimmer, who was still getting used to walking with her new legs.
This baby foal will be able to live a good life, free from the pain and suffering experienced by her mother. There will be no slaughterhouses asking for her meat. No heavy tourists to bring to the edge of a volcano. And no violent owners abusing her to obey them. The rescued horses of Ta'al will be taken to sanctuaries where they will live out the rest of their lives, finally free. The beauty of nature is an endless source of inspiration, and Sagada is rich with such beauty. On the second day of my adventure in this village, I woke up early in the morning to see the sunrise. <laughs> 